True or false, among adults 50 and older, staying mentally sharp outranks physical health and social security as the top priority and concern in the U.S. Well, according to the Center for Brain Health, the answer is true. And one of the ways in which we can stay mentally sharp and prevent cognitive decline in Alzheimer's is by consuming milk on a regular basis. And joining us now to talk more about that is Mary Martin Nordness, who is the Director of Nutrition Affairs for the Southeast Dairy Association. Mary, first of all, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, Alzheimer's, of course, dementia, you and I talked about this earlier, a subject very near and dear to my heart. My mother-in-law currently going through it. Uh, she is fighting it right now. Not sure if she drank milk in her younger years, but what's amazing is the research shows that people who do drink milk, um, it actually, it's not, it's not only for your bones, it's not only for your muscles, but it's for your brain as well. And the research shows that drinking milk can actually slow down the onset, onset of Alzheimer's. Talk about this and how it works. We have to remember that your brain is a muscle. Uh -huh. And we know through sports nutrition that vitamins, minerals, and protein are what muscles crave. So right. it makes sense that your brain needs that also. There's a great research article in The Lancet, which is a British medical journal, mm -hmm. that kind of pointed out some healthy steps that you can take. So I thought that I would share that with you today. Sure, okay. Now, what about for the people who are watching this and, and they're saying to themselves, okay, great, you know, milk, but I'm lactose intolerant. Are there other things that they can do? Absolutely. So vitamin D, uh, in this study, it pointed out that vitamin D, low levels of vitamin D, mm -hmm. have been associated with a higher level of Alzheimer's. So vitamin D is found in milk, but it's also found in the sun. So getting out in the sun, being active in the sun. If you're lactose intolerant, read your label, look in the dairy case. Uh, all dairy foods, like milk, mm -hmm. are fortified with vitamin D. Just be sure and reach the brand that's lactose-free. And you have your little display out here. Uh, I'm assuming these are other foods that actually help boost brain power. Talk about that. Most recent dietary guidelines talks to us about eating patterns. Mm -hmm. They recommend the eating pattern of the Mediterranean diet. Okay. So that's the Greek way of eating. Lots of It's a plant-based diet, lots of fish lots of healthy olive oil. Okay. Now, olive oil has been found to help in the brain structure in keeping that formation tight. Mm -hmm. So we need to be using more healthy fats like olive oil and eating more fish. Okay, and now as far as you know, some of the other things that we can do, um, you mentioned, what about exercise? I mean, do they talk about exercise as well? You talked about getting outside and walking. Ex you exercise is very important. Um, also, when you, uh, another food is walnuts. Mm -hmm. Now, if you look at a little walnut, it even looks like a little brain. See how it looks like a brain? It does brain? look like a brain. So uh, again, omega-3 fatty acids, vitamin E is important and it's found to us in walnuts. Mm -hmm. And then the last you can do is play, play games like Sudoku, word searches, um, crossword puzzles, anything that's going to stretch and make your mind think. Very important. And not to mention exercise and sleep. Absolutely. And we all love playing games anyway. So, uh, and especially now, you, you can find stuff like this on your iPad, on your phone. You just don't have to resort to books as, uh, as well. Uh, but again, you know, a very, very difficult subject for some to talk about, but it is something that we have to talk about. Uh, I know there has been some research out there that now suggests we may have found uh, you know, maybe a link to Alzheimer's, how to, you know, how to... Uh, Exciting research and with more baby boomers getting to be 65 every day, everybody's interested in how do I preserve my brain. Right, and final question, where can people find more information on this? For more information, look for us on the website southeastdairy.org or follow us on Twitter at the Dairy RD. All right, well, Mary, thank you so much for coming in. Thank we appreciate you. your time. Again, very, very interesting and uh, a subject to discuss and uh, lots of things that we can do as well.